today you join us at the California Atelier of one of the biggest legends in hair and fashion, none other than Jose Bear. He has been a trailblazer in his industry for over three decades with the worldwide salons to prove it. These include Beverly Hills, Santa Barbara, Dallas, and Dubai to name a few. These salons are just some of the many places you'll find his product line, which includes dryers, straighteners, curlers, hair care products, and many more. Now you'll probably be asking, what do hairstyling and beauty have to do with intellectual property? Well, as it turns out, quite a bit. There are so many aspects that for the purposes of this video, we're just gonna focus on two, trademarks and trade dress. These both have to do with branding, so let's begin there. Jose is an icon, and over the course of his decorated career, he's elevated himself from one person with expertise in his industry to a world-renowned brand. His name has become synonymous with quality and attention to detail so it makes sense that people seek it out when choosing which products to invest in. Now, trademark laws allow people like Jose to protect their brands by registering them in trademark offices all over the world. Now, in order to obtain registration, you first have to go through a lengthy application and examination process, and this is where it might be helpful to have a lawyer by your side. When you file an application, that filing is public and other people will see what you're filing for. This will sometimes lead people to poach relevant domains and social media handles. So make sure you are covering all your bases before you file. This brings us to trade dress. Trade dress is the form of intellectual property used to protect the visual cues that customers come to associate with your unique brand. Some examples include the interior design of a building that becomes synonymous with a business, the look of a product or the packaging that it is contained in. Typically, trade dress applies to the commercial image of a product or service. This commercial image must function to distinguish your business from that of others. This is a relatively complex area that would warrant a consultation with a lawyer to discuss whether your company's commercial image warrants trade dress protection. Now you should protect your intellectual property because it may very well be one of the most valuable assets of your business. There are various different ways to capitalize on this intellectual property by allowing other people to use it in exchange for compensation. On behalf of everybody here at the Omni Legal Group, I'd like to thank Jose Bear and his immensely talented stylist Shannon Clark. To learn more about Jose and Shannon, visit the links below. Until next time, I'm Omid with the Omni Legal Group, and I'll see you in the next video.